Hi, in this video I'm going to share with you what I bring to a house call. Uh, I'm a medical doctor who does house calls and every doctor has their own idea of what to bring on a house call. So I thought I'd share the, the things that I bring to a patient's home when I'm doing a house call. I have two bags that I bring on a house call. So first is a smaller bag. And this bag basically contains a couple of odds and ends in terms of administration and also everything I need to do a basic examination uh, of the patient. So in the front here, we just have a doctor's stamp and a tiny little waste bin that if I uh, do any procedures or give any injections, I can just put it in the bin. A stethoscope, some spare batteries and a headlamp. Over here we just have a couple of medical files and uh, uh, papers for the files. And then here is where I actually start um, having clinical equipment. This is a blood pressure kit with various sizes of blood pressure cuff so I can measure the blood pressure of any size patient from, uh, from a child to a very large adult. This is a thermometer, uh, infrared thermometer, and if for whatever reason I don't trust the measurement on that one, there should be, oh, there we go. Also, uh, another thermometer over there. Here's my uh, ENT set, in other words, I can examine the eyes and the ears with these devices. Got extra ear pieces here and some eye drops for fluorescein staining of the eyes to check for scratches and ulcers. My urine dipsticks, surgical spirits for cleaning and sterilizing things, a little glucometer to measure the blood sugar. And here is a Pulse oximeter to measure the pulse and the oxygen levels of the blood. Here are some gloves and some tongue depressors. A few little odds and ends that I need for an examination. And if it's really dark, here is a little, little lamp, a little torch. So let's put all these away. So this is basically what I, is what I call my vitals kit. I can do all the vital signs, being the temperature, pulse, blood pressure. Um, glucose level, urine level, um, urine testing. And then we've got the big bag. And the big bag is stuff that contains stuff I will less frequently use. Um, and therefore I don't need to sort of be digging in and out of it as frequently as with the small bag. Let's open this guy up. Over here, just a couple of things for first aid and a couple of extra nebulizer masks. I've got a nebulizer machine here in case I need to nebulize. A few intravenous fluid bags. A couple of uh, medications and things to put up uh, a drip with. Some IV lines. A urine catheter. Some extra gloves because as a doctor you can never have enough gloves. If I have to stitch, I have a disposable stitching pack. Here's a couple of other injections and medications that I might give. I only have very basic injections like uh, vitamin B and stuff for nausea um, and also some um, lignocaine for pain killer, pain killing and um, some allergy medication, so very basic things. Um, I don't really consider myself to want to uh, have a traveling pharmacy. Uh, some paper cups for the urine samples or whatever other sample I need to collect for whatever reason. And kidney dish, because somehow or other you'll always need a kidney dish. In this box I've got everything I need to take blood tests with. Linen saver in case I'm worried I'm going to spill stuff. And in this box I've got 
couple of extra ECG stickers, and then here is my lung function machine. So, and a couple of extra cotton balls. Um, but this is a portable lung function machine. I can use it to measure the, the how well the lungs work. Very useful in diagnosing asthma or various other lung conditions. So I can actually go to a patient's home or office and do a lung function machine. So I just want to quickly put all these things away and then we'll look at the other side of the bag. So on the other side here, this is my ECG machine. So with this I can do an ECG and ECG basically measures the heart. I'll be putting these stickers on you, on the patient to do an ECG and then I connect the cables with this machine and then it will print out an ECG strip for me and then I can just have a look at what is the electrical activity of your heart and what's going on there. Um, over here is just a power cord for some of my, for the ECG machine. And here I've got a cryo pen. This is a freeze pen, so I can freeze small little moles or warts on, uh, on the patient. And I don't need to cut anything, I don't need any anesthesia, so this is really great for um, freezing uh, suspicious uh, things on the skin. And it's nice and portable, and it's, it's an ideal way of um, dealing with small skin issues um, in the patients that is at home. Otherwise in here I just got some spare cartridges for the freezer and some spare ECG electrodes and a few odds and ends like a tuning fork and a patella hammer and a magnifying glass. Just little odds and ends that I might need um, when examining a patient. And over here I have all the stuff I need for doing a sonar, or most of the, some of the stuff really. This is a sonar prop, so I can do sonars by connecting it to my sonar machine, which I generally carry separately. This is my portable sonar machine. So I basically can connect this um, probe to the sonar machine and I can do a sonar for a patient at their bedside. It's not a great sonar mach machine. Uh, the resolution is very low. It does only very very basic investigations But for someone for whatever reason cannot leave the house like uh, say it's an 85 year old patient with severe arthritis And you just want to have a rough idea Get a little bit of an extra rough idea of what's going on say in the liver or in the kidneys Then this sonar does help me with that so it's, it won't do like a full heart sonar or a full abdominal sonar, but I can get a little bit of basic information that helps me uh, in cases where I have a patient that cannot go to a hospital for an x-ray or a sonar. Then over here is just my card machine, so if a patient does want to pay by card or credit card, then they can just pay over there. And between my small bag and my big bag, this is basically, I think, about 90 to 95 percent of what GPs do uh, in South Africa. So I can do almost most of what a GP would do in an office just by bringing these two bags to a patient's home. There's one more bag, which I say box. This is a box I keep in the car. I hardly ever take it to uh, into the patient's home, but it's just there in case um, something happens. It's basically bandages and uh, a few extra um, odds and ends um, that I wouldn't routinely use, but it's just good to have this in the car as a backup uh, if for whatever reason um, I need to provide those services to a patient. So that is what I carry in, uh, in my car when, um, when I come visit a patient to do a house call, that's this one, and then the big bag and the small bag and the sonar machine, and those are the things that I bring to a house call when I do a house call. Thank you for watching.